Kathleen Kane is a free woman tonight. The former Pennsylvania Attorney General was released from prison after serving just eight months of her sentence. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden was at the Montgomery County Correctional Facility as Kane left the building this morning and he spoke to an inmate who got to know Kane while they were behind bars. Home sweet home after a roughly 105 mile trek north. Kathleen Kane was seen returning to her native Scranton. Her cameras captured the moment when she walked out of prison at 820 Wednesday morning. Kane said she was grateful before getting into a black Mercedes SUV. Her time served eight months. Two months of that time was shaved off for good behavior, according to the prison warden. Court records show the disgraced ex-attorney general will remain on probation for eight years. Jennifer spent time with Kane in prison. She said the former chief prosecutor was humble about the situation. She was um, humble right down with the rest of us, you know, um, didn't didn't show off at all. Kane's release ends a high profile public downfall. In 2013, Kane was the first female elected attorney general. Prosecutors accused her of launching war on perceived political enemies. Kane deeply embarrassed and cost some legal and judicial power brokers their jobs when revelations of pornographic emails emerged. She claimed the charges of leaking grand jury material and perjury were simply revenge prosecution. A jury convicted her in 2016. She resigned shortly after, but fought against going to prison and leaving her two sons. After unsuccessful appeals, she surrendered in late November to begin her eight to 23 month sentence. We did reach out to the many people Kathleen Kane described as her political enemies. One told me on the condition of anonymity, he pitied her and felt bad for her, but couldn't ignore the fact that he says she cost a lot of good people their jobs and reputations. We also touched base with former Congressman Bob Brady. He declined to comment on today's events. Outside the jail in Eagleville, I'm Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News.